Here we go. Got everything? Yeah, I'm okay. Here, honey. An offering for the king. <laughs> See you later, Mom. Listen to your teacher, okay? And, uh, give the king my best. Dance with an angel, Mom. Yeah. Maybe we'll tango today instead of waltz. That's our way of saying goodbye. My husband is an Air Force pilot and refers to fighter planes as angels. When he'd go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Matilda grew up hearing this, and now she uses it all the time. There's a nice view of the King's Bridge from our house. That iron giant is the pride of Grace Maria, our capital city. In the old quarter of the city beyond the bridge, you can make out an ancient castle, which is even more famous than the bridge. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. In the throne room rests the Golden King. He's been smiling for a good 600 years now. The king was a gentle person who was a bit on the small side, but he crafted a giant suit of armor that convinced his enemies to surrender without a single fight. Afterwards, they found such warmth in his smile that they bowed down to him in humility. Anyway, that's how the story goes. His smiling face still touches the hearts of our people. The very face my daughter and the others got on a bus to see this morning. That was a brand new day. The song on the radio seems to be a perfect match for the sunny weather. what's happening that awful sound and the shaking was that a blast of wind from an explosion the castle disappeared behind a pillar of flame hey everyone it's Geek Penny here for any guys another video this time is going to be playing Ace Combat 6 for the Xbox 360 so attention all pilots we're under attack Our capital city Grace Maria <laughs> is under attack by unknown aircraft all right damage from the attacks is widespread so um the city. it's the sixth game well and God, now is there's so many area. games in the series it was a PlayStation exclusive for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 but on the um, during the PS3 Xbox 360 era it came to the Xbox 360 because Microsoft needed games uh, that would help the sales, especially you know with the Japanese audience, and this was one of them. This is actually a really good game that really got me in. You know, it was one of the games that got me into uh, Flight Combat Simulation, Ace Combat Series. You know, look no further. So, what what are we doing? Here? Okay, uh, hangar. <laughs> what am I flying? Ah, uh, yes, an F-16, and it's the only thing I'm flying. <laughs> So let's just start this mission now. Oh yeah, get that briefing going on. Oh, I actually have more than the F-16, so I got an A. Oh god, the Happy Holidays one. Ooh. I oh yeah, I forgot I got the special one. So, oh, what am I gonna use? Ooh, I can use the F-14. Ooh, the, the, wait, the SC-47. Oh ho ho! A Typhoon fighter. It's definitely fighter. It's got really good mobility, stability, and air-to-air, -air, but air-to-ground, it kind of sucks. But I think I'm going to be doing a lot of air-to-air -air targets on this one. Because I think the F-16 is like, yeah, the F-16 is like your good overall scenario. So I want something with a little bit of oomph. Unless I go with a classic, uh, yeah. 
Ah, fuck it. Uh, okay, no, 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 don't fuck it, don't fuck it. Okay, um, uh, yeah, fuck it. Um, team, time to take off. Uh, really? Okay, we're doing this. Oh, yeah, air to air. So, you yeah, know, I picked the right one, so. So it's been a while since I played it, uh, the Xbox One version, so... Oh! Ah! No! Okay. Okay. Oh, that's my missiles. Okay, uh... Oh! State of emergency, you say? Okay, no, that's my brakes. That's my brakes. Oh, wait, what? Uh, uh, call the shots! Damn it, man! Can't you see I'm trying to learn controls? Oh. Um, uh, I'm trying to speed up here. I'm trying to figure out shit. Give me time, people. Give me time. Let me let me make time here. Let me make time here. Oh, la 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 la. How do I? Ooh, okay. All right, all right. I got this now. We're good. We're good. So now we're engaging. We're engaging. Woo! Bomber! Okay, so objective take out the bombers. And uh, uh someone like on me? Um Okay. Okay. Firing my next volley of missiles. Alright. Wait. Wait, wait, they missed? Oh God damn! That was like saying like they missed? All right, so now I got to take out. Oh, there's another bomber right there. But this is a really, really good uh, flight combat series. Um, a lot of people still enjoy it, though. Uh, Assault Horizon wasn't necessarily the better, the best game for it that came out after. But Infinity is definitely a worthy uh, successor, even though it is a free-to-play game. So, okay, um, can I get? Um, can I go faster? Is faster an option here? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Wait. <laughs> no. How rude! You don't even like call me. You don't do nothing. Shit. All right. The firing of volley missiles. Okay. Holy crap! That's a that's a big bomber group here. All right. Now I'm getting used to the game here. Whoa! 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Come on, 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 where you have these different countries that were affected by a meteor, uh, your big ass asteroid called Ulysses. So each country was basically bracing for the inevitable, but luckily they were um, they were building technology to help uh, fight, uh, destroy the asteroid before it hit it. But sadly, some countries are still affected by it. So, but obviously, you know things here, you know, influenced by real world. So the Aztecian military, more like your Russian counterpart, although force I'm playing now, yeah, America. Or with a little bit of Europe. Maybe. And I got another bomber group coming in. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, come on! Oh. Alright. I think I gotta keep on my tone here or keep on a lock. God damn! Wait, what? <laughs> no! Don't lock onto me! I'm very shy. Alright, uh. I'm not seeing targets of. I don't see target. Ugh. God, man, my English is starting to go bad. I don't see tart. I don't see anything that could give me a full on. Oh, oh there we go. A worthy target, I should say. So B fifty twos, which is a really heavy fucking bomber. They used that shit a lot during the Vietnam War, and it dropped a shitload of bombs. More bombs than World War Two. Yeah. And when it dropped bombs in Vietnam, you can hear it as far away from the Philippines. That's crazy! Alright. I got a stricken team. We are prepared to launch. Stricken leader to Agayan. We will commence mission operations once your delivery is complete. Attention all aircraft. We are ready for Nimbus launch. Begin the countdown. Booster ignition complete. Launch in five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Engage the enemy at will following Nimbus impact. Finish them all. Uh, shit, I fucking hate the I hate the I hate the Nimbus mi missiles because of this. Basically, they create a big ass fucking cloud of explosions. Shit. And they can really hurt your fucking jet. Woo. So the thing about missiles is it doesn't have to necessarily hit you. It, like, if it explodes right next to it, it will cause enough, you know, force to ruin anything nearby, like the concussion base of it, basically. So, ooh, du 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 <laughs> Grace Mary is getting fucked today! And, not lightly, this ain't gentle! Alright, uh, is that a Phantom? Yes it is, it's an F4 Phantom! Uh, also used a lot during the Vietnam era. Uh, okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? That is used. Uh, oh, oh, hey, don't don't run you away from me. Okay. Additional enemy planes have been spotted on radar. Oh, really? Oh, uh, wait, what? <laughs> well, well, why do I not want to know how many? And that is one hell of a view right down there. Um, no. I do not agree to these terms. Okay, so I got a lock, so do I have to be locked on for it to intercept? Yeah, oh yeah, I have to. Alright. <laughs> okay, Strigon, there we go. An SU-33, that's Russian made. Really? We're getting the fuck out? Ooh. Oh, man. Oh wait, that was the airbase I took uh, off from. Damn, it's getting fucked. Listen, it's only temporary. The plan is to withdraw 
<laughs> yeah. God damn, that is one hell of a view. So, graphically, the game looked pretty damn good in the Xbox 360. So, yeah, I'm already got. I already got the. Wait, what? 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 What's going on? Oh shit! <laughs> There's still firing missiles. Fucking Nimbus missiles. Shit. Yeah, that concussion. It's like that. The force of the blast will fuck you up. So, woof! Mission accomplished. Even though we got our ass kicked. Really You've made it out of the combat zone. And I love it how my co-pilot's called Shamrock. I'm like, I feel like drinking. Just a little longer. Promise. Yep. We're gonna be back. It's just gonna take a while. So also at the end of each mission, you get a replay, and you can do different um, camera angles as well. So. Like a cinematic view, like, oh my god, I'm like into that Top Gun feel, but, yeah. So, I'm gonna exit out here. The city before me. The King's Bridge is gone. Oh no. No. Matilda! <laughs> much like my own voice from afar. I feel as though the Golden King's gentle smile is moving. Moving farther away from me. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. That night, your father and I made countless wishes together. An asteroid called Ulysses came into Earth's orbit and disintegrated into millions of pieces, which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night, fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. In the midst of hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. Our military was forced to retreat to Kesid, an island far to the west. My husband, fighter pilot also hasn't come home since I walk on I am unable to think all I can do is follow the others Ever since we came to the twisted remains of my daughter's school bus, my soul has left me. I am empty. Some of our tanks are parked at the approach to the bridge.
Melissa. It's my name. What a cruel twist of fate for me to see this. My pilot husband, who had left for work that day with the same loving look on his face as always. He had painted my name on his angel. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell before finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots, who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Gracemeria, occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. And although newer parts of the city have suffered considerable damage, the castle and a significant section of the old quarter have escaped relatively unscathed. The castle's okay. However, thank God. The announcer went on to say that our castle was robbed of countless antiquities that once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Estabakian military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet, starting right here in Great Maria. I found a group of street children in front of the central station here, where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? Go dance with the angels, mister. My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter, Matilda. All right, folks, that is going to be it for today. This game is also cutscene heavy. Like, not as heavy as like other games like Metal, the Metal Gear series, but it, it brings out a lot of story behind it, you know, following different characters. And that's always been that way throughout the series. So with this, you know... Again, I'm such a huge, I'm a huge fan of the Ace Combat series, and I cannot wait for Ace Combat 7 to come out for the PlayStation 4 exclusively on the PS4. That's the reason why I bought one. Well, one of the reasons why I bought one. So, either way here, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Post down in the comment box if you yourself are also an Ace Combat fan. Post down what was your favorite game in the series. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Geeky Panda here. I'm out. Dance with the Angels.